there, everybody. I'm Mike Delicio, And I'm Chris Yee. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a DICE implementation of a card game that has had a couple of different names. You may have heard of it as Llama. It has been in the American market titled Don't Llama or Don't Llama Dice. Are those all names for this same game? I think it depends on where you get it. Our version is Don't Llama Dice. It almost sounds like it needs a question mark. Actually, no. It sounds like it needs a new title. It kind of does. But let's show you how the game plays, and then we'll come back and let you know what we think. All right, here we see Don't Llama Dice. At the beginning of the game, you're going to set out the Llama Row, which has the numbers 1 through 6, and our pal, the Llama, here. You're also going to have your three Llama Dice. To finish setup, what you're going to do is every player is going to take six cards from the deck, and they're going to deal them out face up in front of themselves. All right, and so I like to put mine in sequential order. I'll usually put the llama at the front. All right, so once you've done this, once you've put out all of the cards that you have, you have one of two options on your turn. You can either roll or quit. Very at the beginning of the round, quitting would not be the greatest idea because you'd be stuck with all of these negative points. Everything that is in front of you is considered negative points. So you're typically going to roll. Here's what you do. You take your dice and you roll them. Anything that is represented in front of you can be discarded if they're on the dice. So in this case, I have this llama. I can get rid of that llama. I also have this six. I can get rid of this six. If I had a five, I can get rid of one of those, but I don't. I could also get rid of the llama and the six. So let's go ahead and do that because this is six negative points. The llama is worth 10 negative points. Don't want that. Then it would go around to the next person in clockwise order. They would also choose to either roll or quit. Comes back to me, I can roll or I can quit. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if I quit right here, I would end up with six negative points at the end of the round. And you may wonder why is that? Because I've got more than six points represented in front of me. Anytime that you quit, any duplicates of the same number that you have are only going to be counted once. So it would be three, four, five, six if I were to choose to quit now. But I wouldn't choose to quit now. I'm going to press my luck. I'm going to roll those dice. Llama, llama, two. All right, now in this case, I couldn't get rid of both of my twos unless I had rolled a second two. So I can get rid of this two here. Next player would go and so forth. Now, what happens if you roll something that is not represented in front of you here? Let's say I had rolled this. Two llamas and a five. At this point, what I would have to do is I would have to take one of these things from the llama row. I would either take a llama or I would take a five. Now you may be saying, why would you ever take the llama if it's worth negative 10 points and the five is worth only five? Well, because there are more llamas represented on these dice. But anyway, I would have to choose to take one or the other. The other thing that could happen at any point is llama drama. Llama drama is when you roll something that is not represented either in front of you or in the llama row. And if that's the case, you have to take all of the cards from the llama row, they count as negative points for you, and that ends the round. It can become even easier to roll llama drama if you are the last person in the round to keep going. If everyone else has quit and you're the last one, at that point, llama drama is triggered if you don't roll something that's represented just in front of you disregarding what is in front of the, uh, what is in the llama row. Negative points at the end of the round are collected in front of you. Minus one point is the white chip, minus 10 points is the black chip, and the end of the game is triggered when anybody has negative 40 points. However, you can get rid of these chips in front of you. The two ways to do it are either by rolling all three llamas during your rolling phase. At this point, you can get rid of any one chip. In this case, I would certainly get rid of the minus 10 chip. Or if you get rid of all of your cards during the rolling phase, that would end the round and you would be able to get rid of a chip. That's it. That's the game. First player to get to negative 40 points will trigger the end game. And then whoever has the most points at that point wins the game. Let's head back over and let you know what we think. All right, well, that was Don't Llama Dice. This is a very simple game, as you saw from the overview. Not a whole lot to it rules-wise. Is there much to it game-wise, Chris? Mike, I don't throw around the word shameful oh. lightly. All right. I kind of feel shameful that I really <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. There is there's a lot of push your luck games out there, and mm -hmm. a lot of them are very, very simple. You have the most straightforward ones, don't reveal two of the same card or right. anything. You have ones that do this kind of mix of card and dice stuff. 
I think that this has a really slick mechanism to it. Mm -hmm. I like the idea you have a little bit in front of you. Uh, you could eliminate multiple cards at once, but should you always do that, or or maybe not? Right. It kind of depends on what the role is and the combination of cards. I like that. There's a yeah. little bit more depth to even a simple, basic turn. It's interesting you're pointing out this kind of hidden depth for a couple of reasons. Number one, the the designer Reiner Knizia, oftentimes his games uh, get that kind of a I don't know. It's not a title, but they, that that term is used. Hidden depth. It's mm. not as, as as shallow as it may appear. Um, and many people said it for the card game. Other people will vehemently argue and say that Llama is basically Uno. Have you played Llama? I have played Llama. I'm one of those that I don't get it. Okay. It's very subtle mm -hmm. or it's simplistic. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. I, I lean into the simplistic yeah. camp. Yeah. I, I, I think Llama was okay. Uh, I, I I didn't get caught up with all the controversy of whether it's hidden depth or not. I thought it was okay. Um, I prefer Llama Dice quite a bit. Um, and I, I, I'm even struggling to articulate why. Um, I do just feel like there are slightly more decisions to make here. Um, there are decisions yeah, to yeah. make here. I think that's the thing. Is that uh, While you said there's subtle strategy to it, there there is... But there are also some more clear decisions to make. You know, the push your luck, I think, is much more out front with this. Yeah. And I think I appreciate that. I like knowing specifically, all right, what am I working with on my turn here? Am I going to take a risk with this llama drama? Am I going to, uh, you know, you know, am I going to just close out and say, all right, I'll take these negative three points? Um, there's a decision to make every time. And it's a compelling enough decision for me for the type of game this is. Yeah, it's a small box, small form. I, I I think honestly that the llama name probably hurts this because a yeah. lot of people who enjoy Kinesia games, uh, because uh, a lot of them do have that hidden depth. Yeah, a lot of people found that llama did not have hidden depth. Right, to right, it. right. So I'm afraid that this naming that this this cover uh -huh. is going to turn people away. It's turned yeah. people away in the in the office already. Yes, yes, it has. But I, I think you're right. You know, your turn has a few more elements of, of what should I do? What is kind of the best move here? How how far do I keep going? Right. Especially, I love that mechanism that when everybody bows out of a yeah. round except for one person, you could you could bust, you could get that llama drama, get all the extra cards way easier. Yes. And those are the most exciting turns, not only to Agreed. play, but to watch. Yes. I think that's a that's a sign of a good uh, push your luck game is when you are really invested on someone else's turn, right? Not really for any particular reason, but just because it's fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it does the similar the kind of the hook to llama. Really, in many cases, a lot of people thought the only hook. Although again, that's a little controversial. Is this idea of the chip values, right? And, and there are different ways that you can get rid of chips. And if you Turn all your white chips into your to your black chip. In this case, I don't. I can't remember in draw yes, in llama. Yeah, I think it was ones red and or whatever. Tens or something. Yeah, that you can get rid of the the the, the uh, higher value chip. That same hook is here, but there's so much more to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I just I feel like this has taken the idea of llama and put more. Um, oftentimes, it seems like dice game versions are simplified versions. I wouldn't say this is any more complex necessarily. Maybe a couple of more things to think about. There are some more rules. You have to explain what llama drama is. Yeah. You have to explain the change of llama drama when there's only one person left. Right. But all of those little additions don't feel much more complicated because it's still very simple yeah. and very explainable, very playable with a wide uh, age range yes. and wide experience range of players. But it makes it so much more satisfying. I don't even think the two games are comparable, yeah. except that the name says Llama. Yeah, that's a good point. I think that that's, you know, you, you made that point, and I, I would definitely echo that, that I do think almost a disservice is done by theming it the same way as Llama, because it is going to keep people from trying it that probably should try it, that may actually really uh, enjoy it, because it is a different experience. It is a fundamentally different experience to the card game. So, Chris, what are your final thoughts on this? Oh, man, I'm going to give this score... I'm, <laughs> I'm really surprised I'm saying this. I'm giving this an 8. Wow, all right. I have a lot of fun when I play this, and mm -hmm. I enjoy push your luck games a lot. I enjoy little form factor games that you can just kind of take with you, set up somewhere. It doesn't even have to be at a nice table or anything, yep. and you're just chucking dice. The roll the triple llamas, 
that's wild and it happens sometimes. Yeah. Uh, people can come back from a huge deficit. Yes. Uh, a lot of times I don't love games where you are accruing negative points and then when someone hits a certain threshold of negative points that ends the game. Right. Uh, there are certain games where that bothers me more than others. This one doesn't because, mm-hmm. one, it's it's silly and light and, and right. a little bit frivolous but in a fun way. But also, rolling those triple llamas or clearing out all of your cards yes. and you ditching that 10-point chip... Feels huge. Super satisfying, yeah. Yeah, seeing people have good comeback plays and stuff. This is great. Wow. Uh, you're coming in a little bit higher, but I'm, I'm also recommending it. I'm giving it a 7. I feel like when I want to try to get this game played with new players, I'm not going to tell them what it is. I'm going to say, hey, you want to play a push-your-luck dice game? Have a seat. Because I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm afraid that just the, the branding of it is going to turn people off when it shouldn't. It is a fundamentally different experience to Llama. It's a better experience in my opinion, and uh, without a whole lot more rules. The the little extra rules and complexity is so much made up for the rise in experience. So, there you have it. That is Llama Dice. Until next time, I'm Mike Delicio. It's called Don't Llama Dice. That's I'm Chris Yee. Right, and I am ashamed. Shameful. And we're signing off from Dice Tower Headquarters. Mm.